Many people feel anxious from time to time. It's a common and natural response to stress. However, anxiety isn't just another routine emotion. It's a deep-seated overpowering disorder that causes distress and interferes with life for many people. Anxiety is typically experienced by constant fears and worry about the future, about something that hasn't happened yet or may never happen. People with anxiety may find themselves constantly living in the what if, instead of the here and now. Symptoms vary from person to person and can be both physical and emotional. Meet Gina, who experienced insecurity, self-doubt, never feeling good and smart enough, and didn't like who she saw in the mirror. Gina describes her anxiety was through the roof to the point where she couldn't function and she realized she needed help. See her transformation from self-hate to finding her confidence and the career of her dreams as a transport officer with the Royal Flying Doctors. A truly inspiring and incredible story. When you first came to see me, what was going on? I had a lot of self-doubt, a lot of insecurities, thinking I wasn't good enough, I wasn't smart enough. Even in my appearance, I you know, I used to look at myself and, and feel fat. You know, I just felt like I wasn't good enough. That And, and the anxiety, the anxiety was the worst. The anxiety was through the roof. I just barely functioned because of that anxiety. Um, and that's when I made the decision to, you know, that's when I contacted you and, and said, I need something, I, I need help. So what's um, changed? The anxiety is n close to, to, to not there, close to not there. Absolutely. Wow. Um, knowing that I have that resource and knowing now that I can, okay, acknowledge how I'm feeling and just be like, okay, yep. Yeah, I acknowledge it, that's fine. Let's deal with it or put it to the side and be like, okay, where's this coming from? Why am I feeling this way? Not feel bad. Take myself out of a situation that I am not feeling comfortable with. Put myself first. Yeah. So now put you have healthy boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. And not being the people pleaser. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Say no when I want to say no. But I love what you said yeah. about your mum. The relationship with your mum's changed because that was a big one. Oh, absolutely. And like I said, there is no resentment there anymore. That resentment was huge, mm. huge. I used to look at her and, and be so angry. And now that's after that first session, that's just not there. Mm. It, it's not there at all. It completely different. That's, you know, I actually feel at ease with that. I, I haven't even thought about my guilt at being angry at her for holding this resentment. I don't even stop and think about that anymore. That's just, yeah. I let it go. I changed it and gave yeah. it back. Like, this is not mine. This is not mine. This is not my issue to, you know, this is not mine for to hold and carry. I love that. I changed the story and gave it back. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And when you did that, look what it's opened up to. Absolutely. All yeah. these changes yeah. in really a very short period of time. It has been. It has been. Yeah. And yeah. how did you find the online sessions? Really good. It, it's convenient. And you are really, it, you know, regardless of whether it's online or on the phone or a message, it's not, you know, it doesn't feel like you're in another state. It's just, it's comfortable and, it's, you know, it's worked regardless. Yeah. You know, it don't need to, to be face-to-face -face for things to actually change to get that help been a, a great support and you are really easy to talk to really easy to open up to and you understand um it's like you just know where where i'm coming from mm, yeah. um that first night was the major the major change that first night changed so many things you know i thought that i'd need a lot to work through with with dad but it was it was just that one night about mum, and that just got me through so much like the next day as much as I was exhausted I felt awesome I felt lighter big breakthrough yeah definitely and did that you was... like the hypnosis I did I would do it I would do it all over again yeah. absolutely 
I wouldn't I wouldn't think twice wow beautiful so what would you say to someone if they're not sure to do to take this journey oh you need to do it you'll be amazed um you know regardless if it's online it works Mm. it does it does work like I was skeptical like oh how's this going to work online but after that first session it was amazing like you're at home you're in your own space Mm. you're relaxed whatever time it is yeah you you do I think you can relax a bit more because like you said you know you have to you think about driving home and and particularly with COVID at the moment oh absolutely absolutely yeah Yeah. Mm. it's very convenient very convenient and it still works well as you can see she's done beautifully no, she's doing great, man. No, really good. Yeah, I'm proud you can, of her. You can yeah, say no. that this has helped. The hypnotherapy has helped me. Oh yeah, no, I've come a long way, man. So yeah. grateful oh. for your work. No, thanks for your yeah. your work and your help. It's very different. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much again. Yeah. <laughs> Take Bye. Care. Bye. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, huge change from the time that I first contacted you and that first conversation that we had on the phone I could barely breathe when I was talking to you that's how much anxiety that I had Mm. um but you've given me so many tools and resources a a big change and yes I have my days but oh my god it's it it, they don't stick around it then you know they don't I'm able to um deal with it better and be like acknowledge it's I think it's the acknowledgement to be like yeah okay I feel this way but what are the reasons for it and is it you know is it justified or is it, am I thinking too much about it is this truth or is it just my head playing with me yeah just to stop and and think about it and, and get out of my head be nicer to myself be kinder because I was just so horrible to myself I was so negative towards myself and it was like I was beating myself up Mm. saying you can't you can't you can't you're not good enough yeah so how does life look now ah it's so much better Uh, I'm just a lot more confident everything else that we've worked on I, I haven't really actually hated myself this whole time since that first time I haven't hated myself and thought oh my god and you know you look fat that really hasn't happened and it's just amazing how I haven't even you know normally it would be every single day I'd look down and be like oh my god but I look at myself in the mirror and be like this is me and it's okay if I'm not fat normally I'd be like oh my god Jenny you're fat like you need to lose weight but I'm like I'm okay like how does I'm okay this, like, this yeah. is it I've ex- I accepted I've accepted it you know everything that I've put my body through you know, I've, I've got to be kinder to myself. Yeah, isn't that liberating when you're in that place of acceptance? Yeah, absolutely. Of resistance. Absolutely. But everything else that we've done and the acceptance of myself, that alone in itself fixed that. You know, I have to come to the realisation that, you know, I've had three surgeries. I've got injuries that I can't do what I used to do but I'm still capable of looking after myself. You know, I, I'm not embarrassed to walk out and thank you. I can't um, thank you enough for the tools. You've given me this empowerment. You, you've shown me how to use it, how to access it. Mm. Um, and that I'm forever grateful for. Yeah. Huge difference to my life. Thank you, Lo. Oh, you're welcome, beautiful lady. <laughs> well, we're going to tear up because it's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's upwards and onwards. <laughs> All right. <Thank> bye. <laughs> bye. Just as in other areas of your life, there may be times when you may need help of a professional, such as a mechanic to service your car or a dentist to treat parts of your mouth. If you're experiencing anxiety, you may want to see a professional to assist you with healing from the anxiety. Hypnosis is a very effective therapy to help you take back control of your mind and stop worrying about the future so that you can rediscover your freedom and happiness and get back to everyday living. Find out how this is possible for you too and book a discovery call because one conversation can change your life. 